Hello one and hello all and welcome to another crafting adventure. I'm finally back after my neighbor's six weeks of um, very noisy renovations. And now I can record in peace. And what better way to celebrate this than with a new 3D puzzle from Dysaw. Yes, I was shopping a few, uh, actually weeks ago now, and I found that Dysaw seemed to have this new range of... Um, 3D puzzles, and I picked one up because it only costs a hundred yen or one dollar or one pound or whatever currency you use, it's cheap. And I want to know, well, you know, it looks good at the picture, so I want to know what it is actually like on the inside. Um, it seems to be, what, nine centimeters by eight by twenty, so uh, that's quite big, I suppose. Eighty-two pieces. And no indication of how difficult it will be, but it does have the instructions printed on the back. Also, it's nice uh, still that they have this uh, Japanese and English on all of them, um, although the English is sometimes not so great. Please read to the Guardian. Okay, so you've got to read this to your Guardian, whoever that may be. But without further ado, let's find out what's inside the box. And we have four sheets of pieces, I believe. Yep, four sheets of double-sided parts. Very nice. Um, they are made of that sort of foam material with a plasticky cover. And, well, that's about it. There are no separate instructions. We just have the parts. All right. So, we got to figure out what we have to do. First, we're going to make some spacemen, which are numbers 44, 45, and 246s. Conveniently, right by here. Oh! Much like the uh, wooden kits I've been making recently, these parts... Oh! I love that noise. Pop out very, very easily. Put them down there, get the little base bit. Uh, even the small bits pop out. All right, and how easy is it to slide them together? Uh, it would be easier if my camera focused. There you go. Boom! Spaceman number one. And... Lost focus again. Oh, dear. I'll pick that up in a moment. All right, so that's stage one. Let's find out what we have to do next and prepare all the pieces. All right, so first we've put these two pieces together in this lovely little shape here. And we're gonna take this piece, and I think this should fold like that. Comes down there. Ooh, you wanna be a bit delicate with these, they're a little bit thin. And this should slot in the top there, popping out all these little pieces there. Not gonna be too easy to do on camera, so, do it off camera and let you know how it was. With a little bit of help, I did manage to get it in there. Uh, Pre-folding before you slide the little knobbly bits in does help, but uh, went in nicely there. Put another one in the bottom to give it a nice rigid shape. And the bottom bit appears we need this bit, which seems to have all these folds. And ooh, oh dear, oh no. Uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, I just fold it lightly. All right, like that. Uh, obviously, if that does happen, you can just glue it back down. But once that's done, it should go around there. This one comes down around here, and this one goes in the middle. And then these two knobbly bits there should go uh, into those top knobbly bits there. Well, that was uh, not fun. Yeah, these parts are not uh, so precisionly cut, so um, it does take a little bit of forcing to get them through. Also, using a toothpick to pop out the little bits that are in the way is very helpful. All right, now this should go this way and slot into the bottom there, I think. And once that's in place, this bit slides on the back like that. And this bit should curve around the top to create the rocket. And by rocket, of course, I mean um, shuttle. 
Um, yeah, here's the shuttle. Uh, the only problem was this little bit here that popped off, but as I said, some glue or some sellotape will fix that. The backing piece actually holds it together nicely, and the nose slid on there very well. All right. What's ne- Oh. All right, not really sure what this is. Um, oh, I, I guess it's the little um, rudder bit at the back of the shuttle. All right, well, this. um See how easy this is to make, I guess? Um, these instructions are not the easiest to follow, but uh, let's see what we can do. Ah, yes, it was the rudder and the uh, thrusters on the back of the shuttle, which I believe now is actually complete. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, finished. Uh, next is number five. It looks like we have to, similar style, coil a big piece around three uh, stability thingies and then pop a little cap on which is made up of all these extra bits. All right, let's see how difficult that is to do. All right, well that one went together nice and smoothly. Um, so long as you pop the little bits out uh, and uh, pre-fold before you part before you start sliding them together, it's no problem. And then hopefully the cap there just slides in. Perfect, we got ourselves one big rocket booster. Plop that down over there. Next, we need to make the little moon buggy, which starts with this little piece here. Right, so that wasn't part of the buggy. These are just like two somethings. Not sure what they are. Maybe portable toilets. Who knows, but we have them there. Next, we have to use this piece in a similar style to that piece to make the two uh, boosters on the side, which will look like this, because here's one I made earlier. Yeah, you can see this bit just curves around the middle. You've got one, two uh, pieces holding it together. You slide this base bit on there, and then you slide the top bit on there. Um, the only thing you want to be careful of, uh, this one is very thin and lots of tiny, tiny parts to pop out. So be careful when popping them out because they do have a tendency to tear the uh, paper design on the surface. So yeah, be careful with that and it shouldn't take too long. Ta-da! Yes, we have the main parts all put together now for the rocket. Next, we need to attach the boosters to the main uh, rocket here which we're going to use uh, two of these to attach them on the sides. Then, once that's all together, we're going to attach this bit to the shuttle using these little pieces here. Hopefully, when it's all together, it should come together something like this. Yes, you can see they have two attachments for each part, so it's all nice and sturdy. And additionally, the previously thought to be uh, portable toilets are actually things to hold the shuttle up. The little, the top bit there balances under the wing, so it's very sturdy. And with our little spaceman, boop, 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 it's almost done. The only thing we need to do now is to make the little car. The little car seems quite easy. We just push these pieces down on the main platform, like this. Uh, you want to be very careful with that back piece, though. There's a lot of little tiny bits to slide in, and it wasn't very easy, but once you're by here, then you just need to add the wheels and the little radar thing on the front. And once it's all together, have the complete set. Yes, you have your little moon buggy here. Looks quite nice. Little space guys, uh, space shuttle, and the rocket here on the back, which you can very easily, whoop, disconnect if you want to make the shuttle fly by itself. Now overall, uh, I'm quite impressed here, uh, considering this was so cheap to buy, you know, you get quite a lot of parts for the amount of money you spend on it. Um, it's not the easiest thing to build, the instructions are sometimes a little bit difficult to kind of figure out what's going on, but if you give it a little bit of time, there's no problem there. Also, you want to be careful with the uh, plastic, uh, not plastic, the paper cover on this these parts because sometimes when you pop them out, they do rip a little bit. Um, although all the problems I had, I think I put inside the models so you can't actually see them. 
But there you are. If you want to have a lovely little display space set in your house, I cannot recommend this one enough. It's very cheap, quite nice to build, and very aesthetically pleasing. So, another great uh, kit from Dysaur, I guess. Well, there you are. That's how to make this lovely little space set. I hope you enjoyed the video, and... Well, have a lovely week, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, and goodbye.